and uh, then they began using uh, and uh, testing group mind control. Now it's been asked of me <clears throat> if I wouldn't talk some about current events. This is uh, something special being done for this group, but the other groups prior to this were very hungry for current events, and my talk was actually geared towards uh, these restricted subjects that we have talked about already, but you're going to be given something special here. And I've written down just a few notes here that I'm talking off of the top of my head. This is not something that I had planned to talk on, so I'm just talking off of the top of my head. These are some of their plans for the future. The, if we look at Albert Pike, we'll find that he talked about three world wars that would be created to uh, bring in the new world order. We have a nuclear war planned. If you look at what FEMA is setting themselves up for, about 80% of their activity and money is going into preparing for a nuclear war. And you know that FEMA must have the inside story on what's happening. Uh, if we go back in the occult world to St. Simon and his disciples, and this ties back in with the Illuminati, but his disciples published back around the, the uh, 1810 uh, plans to bring in a new world order. And they listed a number of things back at that point in time that needed to happen for a new world order to occur. They needed to build uh, a canal at, uh, that became the Suez Canal. They needed to build a canal in the Panama Isthmus to connect uh, the Caribbean and the Pacific. There was a, they needed to make the countries interdependent, which is something that H.G. Wells and his New World Order also spelled out, and they have done that. And then one of a long list of things that they laid out in their plans for the New World Order there clear back 200 years ago was the creation of an androgynous being. They have been, they have accomplished creating androgynous beings. Another thing that they have planned for us, and I have warned the Christian people, is that one of the uh, cards that, that uh, Christianity holds that they offer people is everlasting life. Imagine if Satan could offer people everlasting life. Well, he has the, they have the ability to extend life, and they will play that card at some point. And even if they only prolong life several hundred years, you have to live several hundred years to find, find out that you don't have everlasting life, and it will devastate the membership of the Christian churches. Now, those of you who have, have read the report from Iron Mountain, you know that they uh, created three pseudo-wars as a substitute for an actual fighting war, and that those three wars are being implemented today to keep us in a state where they can uh, uh, have all kinds of laws to control us. And those three wars are the war on the environment, the war on drugs, and then, of course, their plans to create a mock alien invasion. I have uh, talked briefly on the radio for Prophecy Club about the flying saucers, somebody very high up in the New World Order who was brought to Christ by a close friend of mine has talked about piloting the flying saucers. Yes, the United States government has flying saucers. And uh, before he became a Christian, he considered that the beings that were co-piloting these flying saucers were aliens. But then when he became a Christian, he took a second look and realized they were, were demons. It's rather interesting. I have tape recordings of some of the aliens talking. They send shivers up my back. They sound exactly like I would imagine a demon to sound like. And what's further interesting is these people are saying, these aliens, that they have been around for something like a half a million years. And I'm thinking, when do we give these aliens residence status? 
They have already moved a lot of uh, the first contingents of foreign troops into the United States. Some of you, I'm sure, have seen the maps where they, uh, that they came up with years ago where they had planned out which foreign nations would, uh, would send troops to what regions of the United States. They don't want Americans um, patrolling American regions for the New World Order why they might be too loyal to their um, American civilians. They have uh, built a German air base in New Mexico that the Germans control. And here in Kansas, you will notice that uh, they have been training Russian police at Yoder, Kansas, and that there have been large contingents of, of Russian troops and, and military hardware that have been brought through the United States, some of it stockpiled. Uh, one witness talked to me about the caves in Mexico which had large stockpiles of Soviet weapons. And of course then, uh, are there plans, there are long range plans of what they're going to do uh, with this planet. And uh, eventually it seems like they want to and this is looking way into the future, move things to Australia as the center of things. If you will look at things right now, the mother country of the Illuminati is England. And the center of England is London. But there are two different Londons. Maybe you are not familiar with that. <clears throat> there is a small enclave within Greater London, which is also called London, but it's the financial district, and it is called the city, okay? And it is a private enclave. And what is interesting about the city of London, which is controlled by the Illuminati, is that it's set where that financial district can have financial transactions because of the way the time zones are set all around the world within one day. It's the only location in the world where they can conduct from, from one particular point transactions with all the world's financial markets. And that has been, that area of the world has been like the center point for the Illuminati for a long time. But what I'm saying is, is eventually they hope to move that. And Denver and Atlanta are two of the cities that they have big plans for in the future. And uh, they also plan for some major developments in southern China to build it up. They also plan to uh, do a lot of activity with the asteroids, mining them, a lot of activity on Mars. Reality is far from what we have seen, people, and their technology is far beyond what they have allowed us to see. In fact, this ties back with the mind-controlled slaves. They are only releasing technology at a rate that they want to. Now, if you invent something that's way beyond its time to, for, and helpful for mankind, it will be suppressed. But one of the uh, mind-controlled slaves that I've spent time with, she was a uh, mind-controlled slave within the Watchtower Society, and she was programmed at a particular point in time to invent a particular invention. And then other people were programmed to form a company around that. Satan is a control freak, people. Things are not happening out of control. They can't. God works off of love. But Satan is, doesn't. Love doesn't seek its own. But Satan works off of hate. Everything in his world system has to be tightly controlled. Because he, he's trying to imitate God. He wants to be omnipresent and omnipotent. So he has all of these spy satellites in the world and all these spies on the, on, the, on the ground to try to control. He's a control freak. And everything in his world system seeks his own. It's all working towards these goals. And so what people see as random are actually working to very 